Alright, so I just went live in my little uh, Facebook group talking to you since the camera died earlier. But I was gonna uh, record myself giving advice about promotion and taking advice about promotion, sharing knowledge and whatnot with Eddie G. Pray. Scrap, thanks for you guys tuning in. We got two viewers already. But we're just talking about. See, my man right here, he promotes a lot of people. He promotes a whole lot of motherfuckers. And I feel like a lot of these guys are just telling him what he wants to hear so that he'll promote them. I feel like that as soon as they get any kind of opportunity to ditch him, they're going to. And I'm just trying to throw that out to him. And we're discussing it. And he he gave me a little proposal where I would join his little team of people who anything any of us post, we all share, we all promote, we all push, right? And I said that we should basically, that would be great if everybody only posted good content. If everybody only shared engaging videos that didn't need any kind of push, that would be awesome. I'd be totally for that. But that's not, I mean, that's not the case. You gotta, you gotta think too, it depends. I've, I've heard low quality videos. It's, it's, not, it's not about the quality of the video on social media, brother. It's not about the quality. It's about what the video makes the person do. Certain videos make people comment, bro. They can't resist it. They have to say something. Certain videos, people have to hit that cry, cry tear emoji. They have to. They have to hit the heart. They have to hit the, the angry face. You feel me? Con there's yeah, good I, content I and there's bad content. You got to think there's two types of people when it comes to music. There's people who put music on to make them feel different if they're sad they put on a happy song and then there's people who's happy that put on a sad song because they want to feel different there's literally only two types of people that listen to music you got different genres of music but it boils down to the two types no i i think there's right? far more than two types it, it would be impossible to just be able to divide it up just like that like there's a lot of different well, types know, of people I'm, brother but a lot more of these, just, I'm saying, just to break it down real quick. Because it's like crayons, for example. There's how many main colors, but then you pull other colors off. Like well, like for me, there, for if there was two kinds of people that listen to music, these are the two: the kind that listen to it and the kind that dance to it. There, that's how. If there was only uh, two kinds, that's what I would right. say. You're right, and the people who dance to music is the music that makes them happy. People who listen to music. Can to music. Yeah, like they need that. Like they're they just need that feeling their song gives them. You know, those are the people listening to it. They they the words matter. And then the people at the bar are getting fucked up, dancing and shit, rubbing on each other. You know, it's just about the beat, really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's hard to break it down the two, but that's the, if you had to. That's kind of what it is. And for example, I dropped the uh, fashion sent me a, a phone video, right? Of him rapping the camera and he's recording himself, I think, with, with headphones. And every, everybody told me not to do it, so make it look bad and all that. Well, yeah. For one, I've seen a little bit a little bit more into the video than I guess other people see while I dropped it. And it took off. All, all the fans gave me no money back in my video. What? 6,500 uh, views? Like I was saying, it's not necessarily about the quality of the video. It's about whether or not the video makes people engage with the content. Like, and sometimes you can post just at the wrong time of fucking day or, you know what I mean? Like if you post at the wrong time of night, like right now, I'm surprised we got six viewers right now and fucking three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> like, yeah, I would think that this would be a dead video right now, but we popping on and popping. Shout out to Joshua and sister or uh size hi i can't even say that i'm sorry <laughs> it's psy size sister size sister shy sister well i mean it's just it's, it's getting to the point now like back in the day you can do certain things to you know, saying maneuver around the you know, saying the laws the laws the algorithm that they use you know what, what about those buckets yeah the algorithm is i feel like it's a fucking it's, it's like its own AI, bro. Every time somebody thinks they got the algorithm figured out, they are fucking wrong. <laughs> Facts. Yeah, I mean, the fact that you can, you can upload 
3,000 people a week now. It's kind of, you know what I'm saying? That's going to help a lot of people. You can upload 3,000 people a week to what? What do you mean you can upload 3,000 people a week? What are you talking about? To a group? A week? So you're allowed to upload 3,000 people a week. Because if you do one upload, then you upload 5,000 people, your whole friends list, right? Yeah. Out of them 5,000, you probably get a thousand roughly, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that follow that group, that like that group. Well, you have to do it, so you have to do it so many times. You upload it once, you 5,000, you upload it again, it'd be like 4,200 4, left, and you gotta keep on doing it. Yeah. Well, they start a red flag after a while, and you know what I'm saying? Make it really good. Yeah, but I, I feel like, all right, so this is what I think the biggest problem a lot of people that do promo have is we're like, hey, I'm just gonna invite all of my friends to this group. Then they go and make another group and they invite all their friends to that group. And then they make another page and they invite all their friends. And then they got six different groups with the same people in them. And then they got five different pages with the same people like them. Like I know from experience. <laughs> like, I don't know. Just saying though, like, sometimes. What pisses me off about yeah, Facebook I mean, you... is they don't let your following see everything you post. Like, if you have a hundred thousand followers, you're lucky to get two thousand people to see your post organically, or if the post isn't a very engaging or viral content. Like, if it's just like something simple that's not a meme or something funny or hilarious or viral. It's only going to see a few hundred, probably. Shit. If it's an outside link, shit. Nobody's seeing that shit. <laughs> it's bogus how yeah. Facebook be doing uh, us. Like, private, private groups that are actually, you know what I'm saying, pulling off news and shit, they got some soldiers right there. Because it's, you can't yeah, make but you can't make money in no private groups. You can't make money in, you can't share monetized videos. Your You can't share your monetized video to Facebook groups. Other people, Facebook can't stop them from sharing your monetized videos to groups. But if you do it yourself, you'll wind up in Facebook jail like I am right now. Well, see, the bitch about it is that if you're, if I would say you got a, a private group, group, you can't share nothing from that group outside of it. Well, let's say you got a business page, you go from your business page to a private group, and try to get from a private group onto your, your personal page. Yeah. It won't show. Yeah, I can and use I my can groups right them. now when I'm in Facebook jail. But I can't use my pages. Yeah. The only thing that they care about is money. So the only reason they worry about what we're posting and shit is because of monetization. Because they're worried about keeping the people that are paying them for ads. To keep paying them for ads. So they enforce shit just to satisfy them, basically. And then we suffer the consequences. (laughs) Yes, yes or no. Right. Based off of money, think about how many less followers they have, but how many less, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's the thing that they play in the mind, too. Hey, can you see my live video? Can, or you only got this one phone, or can you go to the uh, my Scratch Public Music oh, no, Promotions yeah. and see the live video? That's you. Yes, sir. You do? I'm back. Mm-hmm. I had to go get my little blunt, but this we gotta wrap it up soon so I can go smoke my little half of my little piece of blunt right here. <laughs> yeah. Well, I man, I mean, I mean, basically, if you got people that fuck with you and, and you know what I'm saying, that actually, that's that's the main thing, man. So you you can hit up 50 people and ask them to share share your content, and out of the 50, you'll get like maybe 10 that does it. That's true. 10 you know? is 10 is actually yeah. a high number in my opinion. I'd say out of 50. You're lucky to get six or seven people to share if you actually ask them. Most, nah. most of the, mostly to do with the fact that you're just hitting them up and asking them for something. So most people will just leave your ass at scene or they won't even click it because when it pops up, they'll skim through it real quick and then they'll already know that it's on, that they didn't got time for that shit and they won't even click it. Like it's yeah, just I mean, the truth. Most of the people who actually gonna back you and you know what I'm saying, follow you and all that. Just, just because that somebody you doesn't want to share your shit all the time you doesn't. But, but hey, but just because they ain't trying to share your shit all the time doesn't mean they're going to back, not backing you. They are your backers. Like, your people just get, they can't always be doing that shit. Like, you got to remember, everybody's Facebook is supposed to be about them. So, like, if you go to my Facebook, you don't find nobody else. I mean, maybe my family and stuff and my girlfriend and shit. 
and my kids, but you don't find, you just find me. And then if I am posting somebody else, like, it's because they're working with me or they're my people. Like, I'm not, it, like, so it takes a lot to get somebody to want you to be a part of them and be on their timeline. To be on their page, to be in their group, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, Unless it's just some I, viral content, something stupid or crazy that they can't resist showing their friends, so they can laugh at it together. If it's not that, then they need to identify with it. You feel me? It needs to be who they yeah. are. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's real. I got, I got a couple good people like, you know, say Amber Fashion, Ace Boogie. All of them, which at, at first didn't have a high following or nothing like that. Uh, if you if you work with people and y'all got the same same goal and y'all meet each other's hustle, then you know what I'm saying y'all y'all grow as a group. Which I mean, then you can split you can split off then. Yeah. But not everybody's gonna back you. I got more people backing me in different countries than I do over here. That's crazy. And the thing is, a lot of uh, in a lot of these other countries that are underdeveloped. The people are actually are doing music way harder, and they're working for it way, way more than we are. Like we're lazy over here. Over there, they're still performing with groups of people. They're gathering around and competing on a regular basis with each other. Like they don't, they're not just sitting on phones like we are. Like reading little bars and shit off our phones and shit, going to the little studio. Like they're actually fucking sweating, busting their ass, trying to be the best they can be. You know what I mean? Especially in South America. Right now, hip hop is blowing up. Well, I mean, it's like like I said before, man. I got I got all this from Congo, which is fluent English and insane good and all that. But you know, a lot of these people just don't have they don't have the resources to know about to get out there. Right. There's a lot of different things to play a factor in it, but what I I feel like music is becoming uh average like everybody can do it and everybody's doing it and uh it's becoming harder and harder to make it off of music like he everybody who's making it are doing way more than just music it's been a long time since i've seen a straight up just artist come out of nowhere and blow up you know what i mean they're either ridiculous and funny or they have all kinds of i don't know how to explain it bro like for example, all right, let me say something. All right, look, look at Jelly Roll. All of a sudden, he just started doing all this singing, like country hip hop, hip hop, and damn, he is like the top dog. He's killing it. He's making all these songs. Every time another song comes out, I'm jealous of this motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and he's just steady killing it. He's making hit after hit after hit, and it's like this hip hop, R and B, country rap mixture out of nowhere. Like, old Jelly Roll was like, I'm some white trash gangster. Like, it's not this. You know what I mean? And I never really fucked with him like that. And then this shit is way different. I'm like, dude, he figured it out. You know what I mean? Well, no, he's maturing like in the music. Like, Kevin Gates. You think Kevin Gates was five years ago compared to now. You can see a progression through his music. Where yeah. He's changing. And he's evolving as an artist. I think that's a little... Oh Look at Tech Nine though. Right. That that right there is a motherfucking dude who knows what he's doing. Tech Nine's yeah, got an like empire, it. like an empire. He's what everybody forgets is he's like half owner of Strange Music, as well as the face of Strange Music. Everybody yeah. think forgets that he's half the owner. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it people think that be mainstream and all that. I'll just make money off shows, which that's not entirely true. You know what I'm saying? You got, you got underground artists who make, who make money off visual sales. You can make a lot of money off shows if you can do it right, of course. You can make a lot of money off of YouTube if you do it right, or Spotify, or fucking even SoundCloud nowadays. It's just about the drive, you know what I mean? You got to just do it right and get lucky. Uh -huh. Well, we like to say get lucky, but we know that if we had the right song, it would, it would work. Unfortunately, there's people who, like me, who have made lots of them, and none of them are quite the right song. <laughs> it's just everything comes into play, even, even down to color. You know what I'm saying? It's like, for example, red, red pulls the eye, and then there's the color of everyone. Compared to blue and black. Yeah, but there's also the... 
that's true, but also certain things have been overdone to the point where it don't work that way no more. Like, 